Hey, this is Lance at McVee Audio. Today I want to talk to you about a little bug I found in Pro Tools 9, uh, at least when it's actually 9.0.1, when it's combined with the Mbox Pro. Uh, other hardware may not have the issue, but I'd love to hear back from other people to see if they are having the same problem. What it is is if you record a signal into the red, which of course you're not supposed to do, but if you do record it into the red, um, and you see it clipping on the on the meters. It's going into the red on the meters. When you play it back, it does not go into the red. It shows that your recording was okay, which it isn't. So there's something wrong with the meters in Pro Tools 9 at the moment. Uh, and then I, you know, I tried a test where I just cranked up my guitar amp way up, hammered it in the red the entire time, and then played it back, and it still played it in the green. It never hit the red mark on playback. So there's a problem with the metering in Pro Tools 9 at the moment. Hopefully they're going to fix it soon with an update. Uh, I'd love to hear from anybody who has the same issue, especially if you're using you know, some Apogee hardware or some other non-AVID uh, interface with Pro Tools 9 and maybe do a little test see if you have the same problem and report back here because it'd just be good to hear if other people are having the problems. I took a little screenshot video which I'm going to play next and then uh, you know you'll see what the deal is. Okay I recorded three guitar parts that we're going to look at. The first one I recorded at a good level it was not going into the red. The second one I recorded it was clipping a little bit and the third one I smashed into the meter constantly clipping it. I did not record with the soft limit on of course and Pro Tools is in pre-fader metering mode. So let's take a look at the first file. <laughs> Okay, so that was recorded nicely. No clipping, no overs, and you could see on the meters it wasn't even getting up to the top there, so it was safely recorded. The next file, it's going to be clipping quite a bit. Um, and you're going to hear it. It's going to be pretty obvious. <laughs> So that was clipping quite a bit, as you could hear. But as you could see on the meters on playback, it was not clipping. Sorry I'm not playing the guitar live while I'm doing this, but you'll just have to trust me that it was absolutely in the red quite a bit when I was recording it. Now the next file is just beyond crunching and in the red the entire time. <laughs> Now to drive the point home, I'm going to insert the Waves Duro meter, which is separate from Pro Tools meters, and it's going to show you that the audio is in fact clipping, but you'll still see once again that on the Pro Tools meter, it's showing that it's not clipping. <laughs> So thanks for listening. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to be down on Pro Tools. I use it all the time. I've used it my entire career. And uh, since it was sound tools all the way through to Pro Tools 9, HD, LE, you name it, I've used it. And, um, you know, it's great software. But uh, there are a lot of things I would still like to see changed. And maybe on my next video, I'll talk about that. But there's just some nitpicking we can do to improve it, uh, even though we're all the way up to 9. So uh, that's it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.